why did you folks turn to a lawsuit uh, against Joey Gibson and uh, some adjacent folks uh, in this case? Yeah, I mean, they came and attacked our establishment and uh, basically we felt that that was the only recourse we had. You know, we've, we've protested against them, you know, folks have, have stood up to them, you know, in a, in a community defense manner before and that's not getting results. Uh, this was something that uh, uh, folks at uh, uh, Oregon uh, Justice Resource Center had uh, come to me and said, like after we got uh, uh, vandalized by uh, the uh, alt-right folks uh, in January, uh, we had a meeting and they said, this is something that's an option for you. And uh, because they were threatening to come back on Friday to attack our screening of a documentary about a, a trans woman of color, um, we said, hey, uh, this, is, this is happening today. Is there any possibility to get this lawsuit in today? Because that might make them think twice. Because basically, with uh, the lack of police response in a timely fashion on May Day, I feel like they felt like they got away with attacking a business and could do it again. Uh, so a lawsuit is kind of make them think twice about, you know, that, that make them realize there are other legal repercussions, even if the cops are on their side, which, you know, that has been alleged. I'm not saying that's a fact. I'm just saying there's been uh, rumors of collusion, uh, but uh, that's something that, uh, you know, the lawsuit is going to make them realize that there are other legal means other than just the police. There are the courts as well. And referencing police, have you or, or any of the folks, you know, who were allegedly injured or whatnot uh, during this event or clash, if you will, uh, filed reports with police, Portland police? Uh, I have been in communication with a police detective who's investigating uh, the assault uh, on, uh, on one of the uh, one of our customers. Do you know if that customer has filed anything with police? I do not. And then last question is, at the end of the day, uh, what, what is the goal or what would you want the public to know about your efforts here? Our goal is to make Portland safe for Portlanders again. Our, our goal is to get these thugs to stop parading around like they own the place and coming into our city to harass and threaten and beat people. That's, that's our goal. You know, our goal is to be able to live our lives and, and be the people that we want to be and not feel threatened for it. You know, we want people to be able to feel they can walk around safely in Portland and uh, not be worried about getting jumped and beaten in the back of the head with a two by four, or, you know, be able to have a Mayday celebration and uh, just be like, yeah, this is a fun party. Let's have some cupcakes and listen to some bands and not worried about getting maced when you're attending that event. You know, I mean, the, stopping the fear, stopping the hate, that's my goal.